welcome to Noah's Ark Storytime. Glad to have you with us this week. Now, I think we should start with our welcome song. I think maybe we'll sing to the boys first this week. Hello boys, hello boys, how are you? How are you? We're so glad you're here today, we're so glad you're here today. Welcome boys, welcome boys, hello boys. And now the girls. Hello girls, hello girls, how are you? How are you? We're so glad you're here today, we're so glad you're here today. Welcome girls, welcome girls, hello girls. And now, last but not least, the grown-ups. Hello grown-ups, hello grown-ups, how are you? How are you? We're so glad you're here today, we're so glad you're here today. Welcome grown-ups, welcome grown-ups, hello grown-ups. Now, I wonder whether any of you have had a birthday this week. I know two people who had their birthday at the beginning of the week. They're called Arthur and Nathaniel. Let's light some candles for them. So Arthur's candles, one, two, three, four. Because Arthur is now four. And now Nathaniel's candles, one, two, three. Because Nathaniel is three. Let's sing happy birthday to them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Arthur and Nathaniel. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Now then, are you going to help me blow out the candles? Big puff. <gasps> oh, well done, we did it. Now then, I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible. So what do I need you to do? I need you to sit down on your bottom. I need you to be nice and quiet. So let's make a big shh. And I need you to switch on your listening ears so you'll be able to hear. Now, lately, I've told you a lot of stories about friends of Jesus. But this week, we got a story about someone who was not a friend of Jesus. Not at all. This is Paul. And Paul did not like the friends of Jesus. Paul thought that they were wrong to tell people about Jesus. And he thought that they should be put in prison for telling people about Jesus. Now, Paul lived in Jerusalem, but one day he heard about some friends of Jesus in a city called Damascus. And even though it was quite a long way away, Paul decided to take a journey there so that he could catch those friends of Jesus and put them in prison. And so... He started off on his journey with some friends. Off they went along the road. But on the way, something very strange happened. Suddenly, there was a bright flash of light from the sky, which blinded Paul and made him fall over. And then... Paul heard a voice from the sky saying, Paul, Paul, why are you hurting me? And Paul called out, who is this? Who's speaking? And the voice said, 
this is Jesus and you're hurting me every time you treat my friends badly. But get up now and go into the city and you'll soon find out what you have to do. And so Paul got up and opened his eyes. But even though the bright light had gone now, Paul couldn't see anything. His eyes wouldn't work at all. Fortunately, his friends had not been blinded by the light, so they were able to take Paul's hands and help him on his way into the city of Damascus and helped him to find somewhere where he could stay. But even after he got there and was staying in a house, his eyes still wouldn't work and he couldn't see. It must have been quite scary for him. But meanwhile, God was talking to somebody else in the city of Damascus. This was Ananias. Now, Ananias was a friend of Jesus. And God said to Ananias, I'm going to show you where Paul is staying in Damascus and I want you to go and visit him. And Ananias was a bit worried about this. He said, I've heard all about this man, Paul. I know that back in Jerusalem, he's been round catching friends of Jesus and putting them in prison. What if he wants to do that to me too? But God said, Ananias, I really want you to go and see Paul because I've got a very important job for Paul to do. So Ananias did as God told him and he went to see Paul. And when he got to the house where Paul was staying, he prayed for Paul and Paul's eyes got better immediately, just like that. And he could see just as well as ever he could before he met Jesus on the road. But some things about Paul did not go back to the way he was before he met Jesus on the road, because never again would Paul chase Christians, chase friends of Jesus and put them in prison, because now Paul was a friend of Jesus and he started to tell everyone about Jesus too. And that was the very important job that God had for Paul. And as God knew right from the start, Paul was very, very good at that job. He told lots of people about Jesus. Well, thank you for listening to the story. I think we should have some songs now. Now, Paul saw a very bright light in the sky, didn't he? Let's have a song about a different sort of light in the sky, shall we? Do you know this one about a twinkly star? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well done. Now then, do you remember this song about Jesus being the king, king of everything? Should we try it? Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I tell you, J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes, he's the king of me. He's the king of the universe. Ooh. The jungle and the sea, bubble, bubble, bubble. Ooh, ooh. Well done. Now then, for our last song, I thought we might row the boat. You could row the boat with a partner, or if you're feeling really strong, you could row all by yourself. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. 
Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. And if you see a lion, don't forget to roar. Rah! Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. And if you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Ooh. Well done. OK, well, that's all we've got time for this week on Noah's Ark Storytime. Hope to see you again next week. Goodbye. <laughs>